Detroit may be the Motor City, but more often these days, it's the mortgage industry that's been on the rise. Between Rocket Mortgage and United Wholesale Mortgage, 31,000 people make a living from home loans. And right now, business is far from good. Business editor Rod Maloney live tonight. And Rod, rising rates really have hurt them. Yeah, they really have. Now, let's take a look at what the rates are right now. A 30-year fixed is 8%. A 15-year fixed is 7%. It's about double or triple what it was even a year ago. And that's what has the numbers changing so dramatically in the mortgage industry. To get a feel for how the mortgage industry's changed over the past year, Rocket Mortgage saw its profits dive almost 100% in the third quarter. While it made just under $100 million, it made $1.4 billion this time last year. It made much of its money in the refinance market. Last year, it laid off 60 employees and announced some buyouts in August. By contrast, Universal Wholesale Mortgage made a third of a billion dollars in the third quarter. CEO Matt Ishbia telling Local 4 Today that he and his team are proud to have overtaken Rocket's number one perch in the mortgage loan volume business. Of course, every mortgage loan in America is doing less business than they did a year ago when rates were two and a half. However, many of our competitors were dependent on the refinance business to be successful. We are not. Michigan's finance sector and insurance, auto and mortgage loans has been a steadily growing one for more than a decade, but that growth is in jeopardy now, says economist Patrick Anderson of the Anderson Economic Group in Lansing. I think they're going to have some difficulties in the near future because interest rates are continuing to go up and people's job prospects are, are going down and they're worried about the, the their future job prospects. That's a double whammy for for. Uh, entities like, uh, you know, Rock Financial and UWM. Now, Rock Financial uh, is not, you know, not all is lost for them. Let's put it that way, because they made more money in the third quarter than they did in the second quarter. Still, Wall Street's not happy about all of this, and their stock is down quite a bit. Back to you. Yeah, and Rod, I know a lot of people wondering, might we see a rebound in the mortgage business anytime soon? Well, it's not looking that way, Sandra. Now, there's no way to know, but the Fed is already talking about, yes, they finished their, their increases for this year, but chances are they're going to be ticking interest rates up still more because inflation is not abating. Hmm. All of us watching, though, very closely. All right. Thank you, Rod.